Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So now in this video, I'm going to explain you about the differences between account receivable and accounts payable. Apart from that, the second question in this video is regarding how to activate the bill wise details, maintaining bill wise details. These two questions I'm going to explain in this video. This is unit number four regarding management of account receivable and accounts payable. Last three videos, I have explained you in detail regarding the meaning of the term account receivable, accounts payable, what are the advantages of maintaining these account receivables and accounts payable, and what are the advantages from bill-wise details. All these things I have explained in the last three videos. So if you have not watched the three videos, I, su I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject computerized accounting, unit number four. Watch the first three videos. Be acquainted with the topics of account receivable and account payable. So before starting this video, I, ex I suggest you to take a screenshot of the points which I have written on the board. Then I'll explain all the points in detail. Come on. First of all, the differences between account receivable and accounts payable. This is the first question in this video. Differences. In tabular form, I am explaining about differences. The first difference, account receivable refers to the amount not yet received by the company for the goods sold on credit. Simply, account receivable is nothing but the amount not yet received by the company for the goods sold on credit. When the business sells the goods on credit to the customers, the customers are called debtors. So over a period of time, the debtors will make the payment. So till the time we have not yet received the amount, the amount due from customers is called account receivable. Simply, this account receivable refers to the amount not yet received by the company for the credit sales made right that is account receivable accounts payable is the amount not yet paid by the company for the goods purchased on credit when a business purchases the goods on credit it will not pay immediately it will pay after a period of time so till the time it is not paid it is called accounts payable simply Account receivable, it refers to the amount the company has not yet received for credit sales. Accounts payable, the amount not yet paid by the company to for the credit purchases. First difference. Second, in case of account receivable, the customer need to pay the uh, money to the company. In case of account receivable, the customers need to pay the amount to the company. Suppose we are having a company, we are having credit customers. We have not yet received the money from credit customers. That is called account receivable. But accounts payable, in case of accounts payable, the company has not yet paid. The company needs to pay to the supplier. From the supplier, we have purchased the goods on credit. We have not yet paid the amount. In that case, it will become accounts payable. Next one, account receivable are considered as current assets. Very important difference. The account receivable will be considered as current assets. In the balance sheet on asset side, under current assets will take account receivable. Whereas account payable is a current liability. So in the balance sheet on the liability side, under current liability will take accounts payable. Next one is account receivable arises on account of credit sales. Whereas accounts payable arises on account of credit purchases. That is the difference. Next one is account receivable represents money to be collected. Account receivable represents the money to be collected, to be received. Whereas accounts payable represent the amount of money to be paid. 
that is the difference next one account receivable increases cash flow of the business by having account receivable the cash flow will increase it's a current asset which can be converted into cash within a short period of time so it will increase whereas accounts payable will decrease the cash flow because it needs to be paid the company has to pay the amount on accounts payable so cash flow will decrease next one is accounts receivable comprises both bills receivable and debtors the total of bills receivable and debtors are called account receivables whereas accounts payable comprises bills payable and creditors the bills payable and creditors combined together constitutes accounts payable so these are some of the differences between account receivable and accounts payable very frequently in examination they may ask you the question regarding what are the differences so i have explained you in detail now second question in this video is regarding the procedure of how to activate the bill wise details maintain bill wise detail so how to activate it by default this feature is not available the company has to activate this feature in tally erp9 only after activating this feature of maintain bill wise details then only it will be activated otherwise by default it is not activated now the question in examination it will be asked what is the procedure for activating maintain bill wise details activating maintain bill wise details so here how do you activate the bill wise details feature in tally erp9 that is the question right what is the answer maintain bill wise details maintain bill wise detail is a feature of tally erp9 for bill wise accounting according to bills raised invoices two types of invoices are there the invoice of sales and invoice of purchases when a company sells the goods it will raise the invoice the main the original invoice will be given to the customers but duplicate invoice will be kept with the company every invoice will have a number so that we can be able to uh, i mean differentiate on which invoice how much was the sale similarly when we purchase the goods we receive the invoice from the supplier so a company has to keep the details of bill wise sales and bill wise purchases so uh, bill wise maintain bill wise detail <coughs> maintain bill wise detail this is the feature one of the important feature in tally erp9 so how to activate this feature helps in maintaining details this feature regarding maintain bill wise detail will help the company in maintaining the debtors and creditors at the invoice level that means the detail regarding invoices of each customer and each supplier debtor and creditor can be maintained then it is also referred to as account receivable for sundry debtors and accounts payable for sundry creditors so normally traditionally we call it as debtors and creditors but according to modern terminology we will make use the name account receivable for sundry debtors and accounts payable for sundry creditors now procedure for activating maintain bill wise details what is the procedure step by step i am going to explain you the following are the steps to be followed for activating maintain bill wise details what is the first step of open tally erp9 open the gateway to tally then after that second step click on select the company click on select the company and now select the company of your choice which is already created the company must also always be created that company you select it third step press f11 at the gateway of tally now here after opening the company press f11 then at the gateway of tally step 4 select accounting feature after pressing f11 next step is select the accounting feature under company features in the on the screen you will find company features click the company features under company features you will find accounting features now click the accounting features 
then under that LR accounting feature, you will have the option regarding maintain bill wise details. So click that and accept yes. It will uh, it will disclose. It will ask you yes or no. Click yes on what maintain bill wise details. So yes, set yes for maintain bill bill wise details. Select the option yes for maintaining bill wise details. Now press Control A to accept the changes settings you have made. Whatever you settings you have done right now. It, you have to give the answer to the tally package that we have accepted. So click Control A to accept the setting or simply click Yes to accept. Option will be given Yes or No. Click the option Yes. Then whatever settings you have done. What setting? Maintain bill wise details. That setting you have made it Yes. Then when you have made it Yes, these are the changes you have made. Now select yes to accept the settings. That's it. In this way, you can be able to activate the feature of maintain bill wise details. Now after activating maintain bill wise details, all the ledgers which are created previously under sundry details and sundry creditors will automatically get their bill wise details set as yes. Once you have selected here, Activated bill wise details, maintain bill wise details activated. Yes, you have completed here settings you have done here. Now, if you want to check, if you want to view whether this activate maintain bill wise detail had been done or not, every sundry data and every sundry creditor automatically the setting has become yes for what maintain bill wise details. So every account of sundry data, every account of sundry creditor, automatically the settings has been done as yes for maintain bill wise details. This can be verified by viewing any existing ledger of sundry data or sundry creditor or by creating a new ledger. Now you want to confirm it whether it is activated or not. Simply go to any ledger account of sundry data or any ledger account of sundry creditor and open it. You can see there that, uh, that the activation of maintain bill wise details is automatically has become yes. Because once you have selected yes here, automatically all the sundry returns, all the sundry returns automatically has become yes. Now you can verify by creating a new account also. You can see the existing sundry returns and existing sundry creators or you can create a new account, new ledger account and see whether it is activated or not. Now, let us create a new ledger account on the Sunday data to view the activated feature. Now, if you want to prove, if you want to confirm whether definitely it is activated or not, open ledger account. How to create a ledger account? I am giving the steps to create. The steps for this are open tally ERP9 first, gateway of tally. Second, click on select company and select the company of your choice in which you want to create. Then select accounts info. After selecting the company, now go to the option accounts information, accounts info. Select ledgers. Under account info, select the option ledgers. Under ledgers, select the create. Select the create under single ledger. So here create will be there under multiple ledger or single ledger. Suppose you select single ledger. Then type name of the data. So whose customers or suppliers account you are opening? You are opening a debtors account or you are opening a creditors account. You have to decide. Suppose I am interested in opening a debtors account. So write the name of the data. Name option is there. While entering data in under option, a list of groups will be shown. Select some data. After name, the next option is under. So if you click under, it will give you the list of sundry data, sundry creators, etc. Now here you select sundry data because I want to open a ledger account of sundry data. So click sundry data. After selecting sundry data, maintain balance bill by bill option will be added. After opening sundry data, then option will be given. Maintain bill by bill option will be added in the screen, which is automatically set as yes. Automatically, it will be set as yes. 
maintain bill by bill option automatically it will be given as yes why it is given yes because we have activated here so before creating before creating a ledger account we have already activated the option the feature of maintain bill wise detail that's why here it is showing yes now last step press y to enter or accept after creating after uh, verifying this just you accept it your new account will be created with the feature of maintain bill wise detail maintaining bill by bill option that's it so in this video i have explained you two questions the first question is regarding the differences between account receivable and accounts payable the second question is regarding how to activate maintain bill wise details so watch the video with full concentration till the end don't skip in between definitely you will get a lot of confidence a lot of command on the topic without any hesitation you can write an examination boldly that's the main purpose of explaining each and every point so if you are satisfied with my lecture give a like to the video share my channel in your groups in your friend circle so that more students can watch the video give your comments where are you from from which university you are watching so give your comments and do subscribe my channel inshallah the next topic we will discuss in the next video